Welcome my acoustic accomplices. First off, why employ a low cut filter versus a high pass filter? Well, they're the same thing, just like pants versus trousers or britches, not to be confused with bitches, which are female dogs. <laughs> high pass filters eliminate the low frequency garbage from our recordings. For example, you're cutting 12 vocal doubles and harmonies. With every pass, you are inadvertently also tracking your refrigerator, HVAC system, the subway, trucks, jets, and yes, whales, who've had to pitch their voices down to compete with the din of humanity and elephants that use the tympanic membrane of the earth to communicate utilizing Raleigh waves. A lot of it you won't even hear since it's infrasonic and thus below our audible limit of 20 hertz, but your recording system will. And worse, it will attempt to play it back, devouring your headroom and dynamic range. You may notice your compressor meter dancing like Pinocchio on a mechanical bull, or the studio driver's hyperventilating with no sound being reproduced. Dial in the low cut filter even when tracking to avoid these scenarios and make your job mixing that much faster and more pleasurable.